The arguments for retiring the A-10 are sound, as far as they go. The Air Force does not believe that the A-10 is any more survivable in hostile airspace now than it was in 1976. There are also sensible arguments in the warthog's favor. While it is true that the A-10 will not fare well against modern air defenses, the same can largely be said of other legacy platforms such as the F-15, F-16, and B-52. In any imaginable conflict scenario against a peer opponent, U.S. aircraft will need to put themselves in harm's way. There will undoubtedly be instances in which the A-10 could effectively be used in relatively safe ways, for example, an isolated conflict zone in which enemy resistance persisted, but the main air defense assets had been destroyed. The A-10 has also demonstrated its utility in expeditionary conflicts against enemies without advanced air defenses, and the United States may still feel the need to fight these kinds of conflicts, even in the era of renewed great power competition.